The Incredible Hulk, short movie review. Bruce Banner is exposed to gamma radiation in, because of an experiment. It's not completely covered. And he develops the alter ego of the Hulk, a massive green man who has a bit of a temper. And so he is hunted by General Ross. And he, as you know, Bruce Banner tries to find a cure for his condition. The film is essentially a bunch of, you know, the military chasing him down with, you know, William Hurt barking out gruffly every single line he has, although Tim Roth makes a, you know, quite good, he's sort of, you know, hunting the Hulk, basically. He's part of the team that's hunting them, and he takes it very personally, you know. He does, he wants to take the Hulk down, you know. And he, he's this sort of aging soldier, and he just, he, and I, it's like he lives for the rush, you know. The, you know, the plot does also go into just you know, efforts to, you know, cure him, but, to cure Banner, but, yeah, it's, there's a pretty good amount of humor in this, and it tends to work out well. The action scenes are the most notable aspect of it, and they are, you know, dark, brutal, fast, and big. This has some great effects, you know, you really believe that the Hulk is there, and that, you know, it is this, basically, humanoid being with, you know, muscle and physical force corresponding to him being that size, you know. The... Betty Ross is slightly miscast Liv Tyler. Banner himself is played by Norton, Edward Norton, and he does really well. You know, he has that sort of edge where, you know, he is this anxious little guy that, you know, you feel like he could erupt into violence. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.